Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to join us on the Forensics Unplugged Channel and Forensics Detailing Channel on Instagram and Facebook. And if you really dig the channel and you want to get closer access to me and a whole load of other rewards and join our Barmy Army of a Patreon, a private Patreon community, then check out the Patreon page. A link for that is in the description. Okay, straight on to, the, to, to, today's, to, 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 to today's video. You see behind me here, guys, I'm just gonna rub something out. And uh, I'll, let, I'll let you into a little secret. The reason that's on the board is I had a go at trying to do this video and messed it up, so I'm starting again. Um, now you see four things on the board. After five years of doing YouTube, this is the number one trap or pitfall that people that discover detailing fall into. Wash, decon, polishing, abrasives. Polishing is probably a better word. Right, let's change it, let's change it. Polishing, really machine polishing as well. It's gonna get complicated. You get the idea. And then protection. That's how I like to break detailing down. You've probably heard me break it down on this channel many times if you follow it. The biggest pitfall that people fall into is they think the order of importance starts from this end with protection being first, polishing being second, decontaminating being third, and washing being fourth. When the reality is, it is the other way around. That is first, that is second, that is third, and that is fourth. Okay, so that is the truth, and that is the misconception. Um, now, why is it the truth, John? Why is it the other way around? Well, quite simply, the most likely thing that's going to, say you've got a perfect car, okay, and it's got fresh protection on it, it's been decontaminated, it's been polished to perfection, okay, you take that car, for 99% of people, that car's going to either sit outside or you're going to be driving it outside and it's going to get rained on, it's going to get mud and road film splashed on it, it's going to get dust on it, it's going to get pollen on it, and it's going to get these things on it the moment you drive it. Day one, okay, it's gonna start getting dirty. Within a week, if you're driving it, say, 100 miles every day, and some people are driving up and down the country, that car will be filthy again, and it wouldn't matter if you sat it next to a car that wasn't perfect, the same model, let's say we've got two Audi A4s, one with bad paint, no protection, the perfect one with good paint, no protection, they're both covered in road film, you can't tell the difference between which one's good, which one's gonna win the show beauty contest, because they're both filthy and they both look rubbish. So the first rule is that the best looking car is the guy that can wash his car every week or even every day if you're, if you're really into it. You know? It would be, it would be the guy that's prepared to wash his car, vacuum out the dust from the footwells and that, the most regularly. Now that is a boring answer and people do not like boring. They want the glamour side and the detailing industry is very glamorous. So it's, it, it's its job to be glamorous. I'm not criticising it for that. So people see all these products, protection products, and think that's the key to their car looking good. It isn't, it's just what I've said to you is the key. How often you're prepared to, cl to clean it, how well you're prepared to clean it, okay? So the boring stuff makes the most difference. So it stands to reason, doesn't it? Because if something's perfect, you can't see the perfection if it's covered in mud and dirt. Same with decontamination, guys. The stuff that's not removed in the wash process builds up on the paintwork, makes your paint feel awful, rough, and it also kills the gloss and the look of that car as that contamination builds up. So periodically, when that contamination starts to build up, and it can build up rapidly depending on the environment, removing that contamination is the next most important thing you can do to your car. And really, again, there's all these glamorous kind of decontamination products being produced, you know, the pads, the clay cloths that again look quite glamorous, the chemical side of it, the purple, you know, you get the fallout, you can get it to bleed out on your paintwork and stuff, but fundamentally, claying with a good quality clay bar and claying properly, going over and not just doing turbo claying, you know, um, claying every bit of all of those panels you're gonna polish. Again, it's a very boring thing, but it's gonna be the most beneficial. Um, for the reasons I've just said, when the contamination's on there, the paintwork looks, looks and feels horrible. Machine polishing. Machine polishing is really cool, especially when you take an old car that 
the paint has kind of just been abused and you can really refine it back down you know and you can really do a lot of good work with machine polishing it is important but very time consuming process and still relatively if i took an average car on the street measured the gloss on it it might be packing around 80 to 85 units of gloss something like that you know just to give you a rough idea let's say 80 units of gloss and i could spend 10 hours machine polishing it and i might raise the gloss up to about 90 or 95 units depending on how old that clear coat was how thick it is no matter how good it is but still that is a 10 hours work for a tiny sort of gain um, and washing and the decontamination will have a bigger impact generally if the car's heavily dirty and covered in contamination so the same rule applies but don't get me wrong machine polishing is obviously great um, Finally, the protection products, when you've got all these three things in place, so it's clean, decontaminated and polished, well, the bad news is that um, a lot of times these products don't add any gloss. You know, we've proven that with all the tests we've done on the channel. If you have very high gloss, the tipping points come into play and you're not really adding gloss. You, know, you can add, you, you are adding something. There is a little bit of a dress look there, even on good paint, but on very highly refined paint, you know, where you've polished it, it's new clear coat and you've polished it really well it looks good regardless of what these products are and in fact yes some of these products will actually make the finish not quite as good in my opinion and the opinion of the gloss meter okay so what do i get asked then examples of these types of questions well it'll be and i'm going to refer people to this video when they ask them in the comments so so i know who's watching and who isn't and the type of question is john i'm running fuso coat um, as my as my base and I want to uh, and I run bit Sonex BSD on top of Fuso will I get extra gloss is it worth me putting bead maker on to give me extra gloss on top of that and extra slickness again it's a complete your mindset is completely wrong if you're looking at these products to transform the way your car is protected truth is you're just chucking material at your car um, and I don't think you really necessarily need to keep layering up material. In fact, there's more of a risk of just overloading your car with materials and under heavy light, you might even see some sort of opaqueness and smeary products there. You, you run the risk of encountering compatibility issues with all these different materials like a Carnauba wax and then some sort of like silicon based kind of, you know, spray sealant on top and, you know, and then, then trying to put a, bead maker on top or an SiO2 spray you know um, so do not fall into the trap that, that putting more layers of protection on systematically increases gloss and increases protection it doesn't you're just whacking more random materials sandwiches of random materials on your paintwork so unfortunately washing and you know making sure it's decommed and a light polish once a year once you've got it into a good state is a lot more important so if you're asking me that question about products the answer is forget about that just wash your car once a week and wash it properly um, and make sure you wash well and you don't cover it in soap stains you get all the soap off and you dry it out well and then don't load it up with strong protection products people you know like if you've got a six i'll give you an example turtle wax ceramic spray sealant it's a sixth month sealant isn't it you know it's a, it can do outdo a wax and people keep asking me john should i use turtle wax ceramic spray as a drying aid when i wash my car no absolutely not it's over concentrated and you're chucking down very strong materials on your car each wash and that's the same for lots of other protection products it's even the same for something like bsd it's too too strong to use as a every time you wash your car um, so i would say use lower concentrations of something i use you know i use a quick detailer that's watered down one to ten so i'm not hurling material at my car every single week i'll put a wax down on the car and i'll leave that wax well alone for three to six months um, you know and then then reapply it as required i'm not looking to load up with materials because it doesn't it's not going to help me in fact it's going to cause more problems and make more mess um, that's the thing so do not think about products as systematically improving your results and the more latest and greatest products that you pick the better your car is going to look this is the best advice i can give you unfortunately the reality is that the things that 
are going to benefit how your car looks are the most mundane things and that is your effort and that is you your your horsepower your commitment your passion for maintaining your car is the number one thing do not get me wrong guys because I buy lots of protection products for my car and I look at them and stuff like that but I do so because I just get enjoyment out of it and I've said this many times on the channel I'll pay the money for protection products and I'll try stuff just because I find the products interesting I find them fun but what do I tend to use really you know when I'm not doing all this camera stuff and I'm showing you all these products well I just tend to use a paste wax um, either a paste wax if I want to go old school a decent one or I'll use Tax Systems Moonlight because it's a, it's a product which will do six months easily. It's very cheap and it's easy to apply. Uh, and that's about it for me, guys. I've got some high-tech products, low-tech ones, but they are not the key to how my car looks. Let me know what you think about this particular statement. If you think it's true or you think it's a load of old rubbish. If you, if you think I'm wrong, if you think the order of importance is different and it's actually the other way around and protection is the most important thing, let me know. Um, I am not saying that protection, protecting your car is not worth doing or anything like that. A car with no protection on it is a nightmare to dry, the water sticks to it. Uh, you know, when you've got fresh protection on your car and you've got good paintwork and all this is done, your car's lovely and it's nice to get, get it to that stage. But just don't fall into the trap of feeling like you need to put, keep putting products on it every time you wash it. You don't. Do your yearly decontamination, light polish, or polishers get your paintwork to a good standard then hopefully just a light polish once a year put down a sealant or a wax or something or moonlight or whatever you're using something that's going to do six months to a year would be my advice trust that product and then have a regular wash routine um, and then top up protection six months time as required and then hopefully try and get yourself through the year and then at the start of the year in spring that's when your car will be at be a good time to do the decon where the weather gets nice and the light polish and apply your protection. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned to the channel for more content. And as always, and that's it for this video. Bye now. Where was I when you